Here in suburban Cleveland, you'll find one of the top ranked regional universities in the Midwest. Well, I don't think anybody chooses to go to John Carroll University unless they have a burning desire inside them to do something great. Doctors, politicians and CEOs have all strolled the sidewalks here at John Carroll. But one of the school's greatest exports comes from a different type of field. The NFL is littered with coaches and front office executives who played or coached for JCU. This month alone, ex-John Carroll quarterback Nick Casario became the new general manager of the Houston Texans. I'm honored and humbled to stand before you today as a general manager of the Houston Texans. While the LA Chargers hired former JCU defensive coordinator Brandon Staley as their next head coach. It's an exciting day. It's a special day uh, for me and my family. It's a dream come true. Akron head coach Tom Arth was Staley's boss in University Heights just five years ago. When we were coaching together at John Carroll, um, you know, we always felt like we were coaching, you know, in the NFL. You know, everything we did, you know, in our program was all just like it would be, you know, at, at that level. Patriots offensive coordinator Josh McDaniels, Ravens offensive coordinator Greg Roman, and Chargers general manager Tom Telesco, who hired Staley, also have John Carroll roots, as did the winningest coach in NFL history, Don Shula. Short drop by Casario, pumps once, deep throw down the right side, pass caught in stride, McDaniels. So how does a Division III school without football scholarships consistently feed talent to the NFL? It really comes down to they love football. According to the Blue Streak's current coach, the passion and work ethic of former players who have made that jump sets them apart. They love the grind, they love the competition, they love practice, they play the game like coaches. That mentality of playing like a coach continues at Don Shula Stadium today. I know I'm coaching a future GM or, or a coach in the NFL or the major college coach, I just know it. And it was the selling point for John Carroll defensive back Nate Leopold when he made his college choice. Peter Schrager went on NFL Network and he said, if you want to be a linebacker, you go to Alabama. If you want to be a coach or GM in the NFL, you go to John Carroll. I believe that I'm good enough and I could go chase that dream and that this was the place to, to go chase that dream. Here in suburban Cleveland, that dream runs through this team. Pat Chiesa, 3Sports.